When I was diagnosed with cancer, I remember that first night at home, I was wide awake. And um, there was this feeling of like, I couldn't breathe. I was this really claustrophobic in my body. You know that voice inside your head? It's kind of like, it's like, oh man, I gotta get out of this body. This body is sick. I rewind to, you know, summer of 2013. I was marathon running. I felt like a warrior. I started having upper abdominal pain and I was still running five miles a day thinking like, man, you know, I just don't, I don't know what's going on, I don't feel well. I started losing weight, I lost nine pounds. Then I met my doctor and he said, you know, I don't know how to say it, but I'm really sorry, but like, you have leukemia or you have cancer, you know? And it's just like, oh. I was diagnosed on a Tuesday, admitted to City Hope on a Friday, doing first round of chemo on a Monday. Whew, six days. I had to like pack my bag, say goodbye to my children, and like come into City Hope and move in. But the transplant explanation was like, look, you have blood in your body that is cancerous. We have to remove that blood, and we got to put new blood in. So how do we do that? Well, we gotta find someone that has a, is that a genetic code match to your bone marrow? The only one that could be a potential donor was my little brother, and he was a 25% chance. So I have some news for you guys. Okay. Adam's a full match. 100%. <laughs> We're not there yet, but we got a fighting chance this, right? More than that. And then by the point in which they actually brought in the little bag of your, your transplant, my brother's beautiful blood, and they inject it and they sing happy birthday, there's an anticipation because you're like, this is what I've been waiting for. This is why I've been fighting so hard. Because if I get this transplant, I get to stay. I get to save my wife and children. Every day I wake up, I'm just like, dude, you are so lucky. That a lot of friends and family didn't make it through, but like, you are so, you're so lucky to so like, it was like, make it count. You get to live an extraordinary life. An extraordinary meaning like, no, you don't go back to the old life. It's a new life, but you're still alive. You're still here. And that I'm very, very beyond grateful for.